The Battle of Kursk is a successful operation of the Red Army and Hitler's personal failure. After Stalingrad, the Führer wanted to retaliate and commence the attack. The plan was to surround and destroy a large Soviet force at the Kursk salient. Germany carried out a total mobilization. Wehrmacht got new tanks, Panther and Tiger, which were superior to the Soviet tanks. Fortunately, the intelligence managed to intercept the Nazi plans. Marshal Zhukov and Vasilevsky decided to focus on the defense to drain the German forces, and only then go into the offensive. The salient of fire, this is what the people called the Battle of Kursk, because of the immense amount of artillery, tanks and air power used there. Soviet aces like Kozhedup and Maresia fought in the skies. Thousands of tanks took a stance on the land. The Nazis failed to achieve any success in the battle, and on 17th of July, the Red Army went into the offensive. The Battle of Kursk became Wormacht's last attempt to recapture the initiative. From that point on, the Red Army would always have the upper hand.